there were another cataclysm, would the entire continent disappear into the sea? If it's the same as last time, then yes, it would. The Nerefus Cannon pales in comparison to this. The Nerefus Cannon could take out a mountain, but with this, it's the entire continent. So this is what Moritz meant by purging the Auraranus. We can't live without land. If it sinks, we're finished. Was that tower-looking thing the Wings of Light? Most likely. The Wings of Light would seem to be the enemy's secret weapon. Enemy? A device to cause the Cataclysm. Would Cheryl really do that? In any case... Determining the enemy's objective was a good step forward. We didn't even know that until now. Hang on a second. Why are you calling the Theranus the enemy? You weren't using that word before. I thought it would be best in order to accurately represent the situation. Hey! Do you all seriously think Shirley is going to cause another cataclysm? Well... There's no way she'd do that. This is Shirley we're talking about. We don't really know her that well. Then I'll tell you about her. Shirley couldn't hurt a fly. There's no way she could sink a continent and wipe out humanity. Hey, what's that about? You don't believe me? It's going to be okay. It'll all work out. Stop and look at the reality of the situation. How can you be so sure it's going to work out? Just what is Shirley to you? What? And don't try to claim she's your sister. Shirley herself declared that she's through with you. Jay! The time for playing brother and sister is long over. You little... Now hang on! You don't have to say it like that! This is no time to be mincing words. Or don't you mind if the cataclysm occurs again? Yeah, that's it. There's no need for us to worry like this. What do you mean? Everything will be fine as long as the cataclysm doesn't happen, right? I'm going to convince Shirley. Senna. If I talk to her, I'm sure she'll understand. I'd like to know what makes you so confident. Hey, there's a light over there! What is that? It seems Nerefus is calling us. It must be trying to help us. Let's go check it out. What should we do? I think we should go. We can't just ignore it. Then let's get moving. I have to do something. Yeah, me. How is the ma no chance?
Disappeared. There's a picture here. I wonder if those missing parts are intentional. One, two, three, four places. Wait, four? Semmel, could you line up the tablets we've collected on the ground? The tablets we've collected are parts of this thing. Hmm. It would seem Nerefus is testing us. What do you mean? We're probably supposed to place these tablets in their correct positions. This is the first tablet we picked up. It depicts land appearing on top of a white rectangular ship. This is the second tablet we got. It depicts people watching the white rectangular ship setting out to sea. This is the third tablet we came across. It depicts the white rectangular ship descending from the sky. This is the last tablet we got. It depicts light enveloping the legacy at the moment the cataclysm took place. What order do they go in? This is it. This is the first tablet we picked up. It depicts land appearing on top of a white rectangular ship. about like this. That doesn't look right. Let's try a different order. How about this? Yes. They're lined up in the order in which the events took place. That makes the most sense. The tablets lit up. Probably means we got it right. Nice job, Sanal. Nerefus must be trying to teach us the truth about our history. Every 
Everything began when the white rectangular ship came down from the sky. That was the meeting between humanity and the Radiant. Unfortunately, the two races went down the path of war. And humans, our ancestors, won. Having lost the war, the Radiant sought a new life on board the Legacy. Thus, the Kingdom of Terraces was born. But the Radiant continued to hold on to their hatred of humanity. And they eventually caused the Cataclysm. The sea is glowing! Could Nessie be trying to talk to us? Nerefus surely knows we can't hear its voice. It's not trying to talk to us. If anything, it's probably the opposite. This time, I think it wants answers from us. Are you saying it wants to know what we're going to do? It wants us to make clear our decision. Teach, why are your nails glowing? Maybe Nerefus wants to chat with Will. With me? I was exiled from the mainland. I no longer have any great attachment to it. And Harriet is on board the Legacy as well. However, I cannot simply stand by and watch the Cataclysm occur. No reason can justify the arbitrary destruction of innocent life. None. I vow to stop the Cataclysm. It is my duty. The duty of one who knows the truth. Renard's nails are glowing even brighter. Is that sacred airs? What is this? I feel incredible power flowing through my body. Strength. It's immense. I can feel it. It is sacred airs. I told you it was for real. Woo! Looks like I'm up next. I know I can do away with Moritz and Walter and get the old Shirley back. And you better believe I ain't gonna let the cataclysm happen. This is it! This is Sacred Airs! I finally got it! Yahoo! Every last bit of my body's busting with power! If my nails were glowing all rainbow colors, it'd be just like the legends! Ah, but who's gonna fuss over details? Ha! was a cataclysm and all. Sure, I ran away from home, but still. My parents are there, and I'd feel bad if I never... This is the first I've heard about her running away from home. Anyway, I want to keep on having fun searching for the Everlight, you know? If that means stopping the cataclysm, then well, bring it on! Like I've grown closer to Nessie. Does this mean I'm one of the chosen warriors now? Please, that doesn't fit me at all. Looks like I'm next. It's been a while since I first came to the Legacy. This is my home. So it really isn't my problem what happens to the mainland. But I doubt the Radiant will just leave the Legacy alone once they cause the Cataclysm. 
So I'm going to stop it. For the legacy, and everything on it that matters to me. With this much power, we can probably use Eris even on the surface. And it should be enough to accomplish my objective. I see what you mean about growing closer to Nerefis. Told you! Perhaps Eris is essentially a method for communicating with Nerefis. And the Marinus would be its ultimate form. Yes. Okay, who's next? Hmm. Why are my nails shining? Were you not paying any attention at all? Say something to the sea already, woman! Hi there, Nerefus. Is that all you're gonna say? Oh my! My nails are all sparkly. They're so pretty. Is that okay, Norma? Moses? How'd she get sacred airs just by saying hi? My turn. I... I do not intend to give up on peace between mankind and the Radiant. I don't want powers whose only purpose is to kill Shirley. People may laugh and call me an idealist, but how can one live without ideals? What I want is the power to stop the Cataclysm and to open a path to peace. If you should still find me worthy, then grant me your power. Nerefis, you accept me. The power of Nerefis, the sense of fulfillment. I've never felt like this. However, I also feel the weight of responsibility. Senny, you're the last one, so make it good. Uh... Sinnel, why? Why aren't your nails glowing? I don't know! Damn it, what's going on? Nerefis, stop playing around! Hey, wait! Are you saying you don't accept me? Just me? You can't be serious! I'm the only one who can convince Shirley! Coolidge? I have to go! Me! Without me, Shirley won't... Wait! Nerefus! Please! Why? Uh, hold on! How'd things end up like this? I certainly didn't expect this. How can this be happening? Uh. Damn it! Why? Why is this only happening to me? What is it? What's wrong with me? What do I need? Senny? Well... How should I know? I don't have time for this! We have to stop Shirley! Why? Why is this happening? Shut up. Will! Settle down, understand? Uh.
We're going to return to camp and discuss our next course of action. Understood? Okay, yeah. right. I give no quarter to those in my way. 